With the glitz and glam associated with the University of Louisville men's basketball games in the KFC Yum Center, it's difficult to picture the program in its infancy. William Gardner was coaching the UofL women and the Manual High School boys team in 1912. Mm. Not that Will Gardner, this one. He was asked to start the men's team and he said, Oh, what the heck? That's only three more games. And so it was on January 28, 1912. Hello again. Against Louisville, that U of L basketball was born at Tharp University School on a floor that was 70 feet long, a full 24 feet shorter than today's regulation court. 17 days later, Arizona became the 48th state. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? <laughs> the cards were 0 and 3 in the inaugural campaign. Oh, rats! <laughs> It was also the same year that the Titanic had its only fateful and tragic voyage. Look out for that iceberg! And Fenway Park in Boston opened. They still play there? While President Woodrow Wilson was in office, the Cardinals played seven of the ten seasons in the 19 teens at four different off campus venues with Clarence Rogers, Edwin Kornfeld, and Sam Morgan starring for the Red and Black. Ooh, they're good, 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 good. With the nation and the world in the throes of the Great War, the Cards did not field the team in 1916-17 because of a lack of funds. It was with those humble beginnings that Cardinal basketball began. Coming, the drum, drum.